UC <laughs> South, if you don't mind, I'll kind of kind of speed yeah, run this one because we uh, yeah. we did a few videos already on this channel. So if you want more details, go and do that. <laughs> but let me hop on over to the Colts here and kind of give you my perspective, and then you guys can obviously talk about Jonathan Taylor ditching us and stuff. So, but right. well, um, before we hop in real quick, uh, Patriots win the AFC. Yes, that's my opinion. There you go. Cool. Uh, the Browns. We'll finish second in the AFC North. Man, you guys are just so objective. I love it. All right. I just so... said the Browns are going to finish second. It'll be the Ravens that finish third, and the, mm-hmm. the Bengals will finish third, and all three will make the team, the playoffs. And the Bengals will finish third, not because they're bad, but Bengals? because I think Joe Burrow is more hurt than what they're talking about, and I think that he'll miss all right, time. All right, we're, we're on the Colts now. Calm down. <laughs> Bro, no one cares about Anthony Richardson. Chance, buddy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's get it. Um, let's see here. I just wish I had Bobby Okariki. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, all right. So the Colts this year, I it's a whole lot of staying the same, you know, same, same, but different kind of deal. And so (laughs) that's how the AFC South is, anyways. So same, same, but different. So um, the Indianapolis Colts, the biggest things that happened is we lost Bobby Okereke, who's our, you know, second, maybe third best linebacker to the Giants, and he's going to be their best linebacker, so good for the Giants there. Um, the biggest things that we did, we, we lost Ron McLeod and Yannick Nagakwe, who were big contributors last year for us, so those are going to hurt. Um, and then we also lost um, Paris Campbell. Um, who was another contributor who had a decent year, had some great highlights, but you know he's he's not someone that we were wanting to invest in. So um, not the biggest losses, but definitely you know losing some depth there. Um, but we did add in um, a few players that I really like, uh, Samson Ibukum, um, who was with the the Rams. He was with the Niners last year, but started off with the Rams with their great defense. Um, I think he's going to just be a Nagakwe replacement. A little bit, you know, same, same, but different kind of player. Um, let's see, who else do we... Uh, Gardner Minshew, we added in from Philly um, because of uh, Shane Steichen. Uh, it's kind of a, a good just bridge quarterback for, you know, who we're going to talk about later for most of this. And then um, Isaiah McKenzie is going to be a contributor on offense. And really outside of that, there wasn't a whole lot of, you know just crazy additions um, from free agency. And that's because they were gearing up for arguably, arguably, not not saying they are the best, but arguably the best draft class of 2023. Oh my gosh. Which, I that's not just from Colts territory. That's from a lot of people saying that the Colts had a, a really good draft as far as just where they took, how many players they took, stuff like that. Anyways, um... <laughs> Josh Downs, how is he doing? Uh, Josh Downs has made some really good plays. I think he had a little bit of a like a leg injury or something like that okay. at first, but um, I like him. He's my yeah. boy. So um, our draft class consisted, um, you know, with the headliner Anthony Richardson, where we definitely talked about, you know, there's a there's a big you know difference between his highlights and lowlights. Um, and he, he's very raw. But I think he's going to get the opportunity to play week one. And th- this is what c- the Colts season is going to hinge on is, does Anthony Richardson put it together quick? Or is this year just going to be a lot of struggles? And I can see it going either way, to be fair. But um, I'm really excited about Anthony Richardson as a Colts player. You guys are giggling like, you know, kids in the backseat of a second grade class. What are you guys uh, giggling about? He passed me a note. <laughs> oh, reading from the class. <laughs> Anthony Richard sucks ass. <laughs> now. Okay. Um, but anyway, so Anthony Richardson, obviously we didn't get Bryce Young or CJ Stroud, who I really liked the most before the draft happened. Um, but we landed Anthony Richardson, avoided Will Levis, which I, I'm... I'm liking right now. So, um, good decision there between those two. Um, but the Colts is in the draft room all by himself, all lonely and <laughs> sad. And... 
<laughs> players are gonna stop going to the freaking yeah draft, like Keon White. They're gonna stop going. He's like, he I believed the, oh, his own, that face. own hype though. Like he believed that crap. Like bro, so did Keon White. <laughs> Yeah, that is anyway, true. But. Any, anyways, anyways, um, let me kind of just go through the the important players as I see it for this draft class. So Julius Brents has an opportunity to be a great man corner for us. I don't know if there was a lot of tape to support him being just a you know right off the bat being a great guy, but he's got tools. Um, Josh Downs, he's gonna fill in as a slot receiver. Really, really like as far as the value pick goes, really, really good pick. Um, you know, obviously he has to prove it, but. I think that was a really good pick. And then with your guys, I, I I wanted the Browns to pick him up, but we we got Elijah Moore, which just kind of fills that same role. Yeah. But you guys have that you know really big Alex Pierce and Michael Pittman. You guys got those outsides down. They're not really super shifty, quick players, and that's what Josh Down is. Like that guy is a menace with yeah, the ball. Yeah, they're they're a, they're going to be critters in offense. the forest with our uh, team because we got we got big tight ends, big wide receivers, big quarterback. Big running back, or I guess not really a big running back yet, but... Um, you don't even have a right, running back right now. For real. Uh, big offensive line, so you got Isaiah McKenzie and Josh Downs, who are sub 5'10". They're just going to be critters in the forest, and I like it. Um, yeah. The rest of the draft, basically, all you need to say is raw athletic score. These uh, draft picks, basically, they just check off, are they big, are they fast? Great. <laughs> Let's add them. Um, Blake Freeland from BYU showed a lot of good pass protection, but his run protection was kind of suspect. Out of a war, he's going to be a defensive tackle for us. And then, like I said, the rest of these, rest of these guys are depth pieces that you might hear about in two to three years. Uh, you might hear a few things this year, but I, I'm not going to expect a lot from them this year. But I think overall, like I've been saying, Colts, same, same, but different. The big difference this year is Anthony Richardson can throw more than 30 yards. And he can move outside of the pocket, which is a huge deal for the Colts. After having Matt Ryan, after having Nick Foles, after having Phillip Rivers, after having Carson Wentz, who you know kind of filled that, but he just played hero ball too much. So refreshing times, same, same, but different. And Mikey, I can't hear you. All right, so I'm glad you guys stopped doing that. Yeah, for real. So we'll see. I, at least it's You're a change. Old. Get over here. You know, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over again and expecting different results. So I'm glad that we kind of bucked that trend. And now the biggest concern is, does Jonathan Taylor stay? Do we trade for, you know, some, you know, early picks or something like that? But either way. We didn't hit that point when we were talking about the running backs. That's the worst part. What are you going to trade him for? No one's going to give you anything besides a third. I mean, still, I mean, you can get a running back in the third and just rinse and repeat. Yeah. Um, but, the, you know, the, the other thing outside of all of this is, um, you know, if if Jonathan Taylor play, plays, you know, great. But Zach Moss hit 100 yards last year, which he never did with the Buffalo Bills. The Colts had a really good string of games at the end of the year for running. So, um, you know, the Colts, if if Anthony Richardson can make that difference this year, they could be contenders for this division, not the conference, but this division, the AFC South, you know, not necessarily the strongest division. So um, I project the Colts finishing second. I think the Jaguars kind of have the division right now. Um, and then, you know, the Texans and the Titans are kind of in a weird position. So I, it's hard to really uh, project them. But that's where I see Colts being a little bit more steady than the other two teams. Um. That's something we didn't talk about. Just give Jonathan Taylor what he wants. You don't have to pay your quarterback for another five years. And Anthony Richardson is raw. Like, he's going to struggle in the NFL because he's just not ready. I mean, watching him at in, in the SEC, that guy just wasn't able to process and wasn't able to throw football very well. He has the ability. He's got the arm talent. Give him the best opportunity he can. You've, you've you've fluffed every chance you've had with every quarterback the last few years when you guys have had a good roster. Give your quarterback the best chance because he's going to be your quarterback for the next two to three years at least. Yeah. Well, Unless you like, guys yeah. absolutely biff and get the chance to get Caleb Williams. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, no, I I think I think what will happen is they basically agree to disagree. This is the last year. Jonathan Taylor, you know, kind of gets on the field when he's healthy, and then I think he, you know, he finds a contract somewhere else next year, and that's kind of what happens. We we get you know a, a comp pick for him or something like that. So and, you know, at the end of the day, it 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 kind of sucks to not have Jonathan Taylor forever. If we do get a deal done, I'd be ecstatic. But if we don't, you know, there there's other things that you can do in the NFL. So, um, but other than that, yeah, that I mean, do you guys like all outside looking in? Do you see the Colts as the second team in the AFC South right now, or are we still kind of bottom feeders in the worst division? <laughs> I still think it's the Titans. I got, I'm like Vrabel has got too good of a coaching scheme. You're going to have Derrick Henry back. You'll have Tannehill, and you may not believe in Tannehill to win the Super Bowl, but he's a solid quarterback. They will win games. They got D-Hop, and you can make all the jokes you want, but D-Hop is elite in general. And and then the, they're the, just the nasty. Thing, they're a nasty team. The only thing I think, is I, I know that um, uh, Vrabel will have a good defense, but they don't have like they got worse on defense as far as just like quality of players i feel like in my opinion i think coaching wise will still be good but like you can tell that they had a noticeable drop in players on the defense yeah i i still see jaguars titans fighting for first and then texans colts are kind of in that same spot building up trying this new quarterback thing fighting to see who goes up there and then I'm I not mean, even like 100% sold on the Jags. I am. I, I like I like Doug Peterson a lot, and that defense. I do like him. That defense is really solid. Um, and you know they they went pretty far with Christian Kirk as their best wide receiver. So I I got to give the Jags their you know their dues right now. They have the division. Um, and then like you said, the Titans and the the oh. Jags have the the most tenured coaches in our division so you know it's it's hard um, to say that these new coaches are gonna i believe the jags have the the division i don't think they're like i don't believe yeah. like the hype with like them like as a really good playoff contender i should have been more specific okay um do have you guys seen the videos of calvin ridley guy is crisp dude he's so muddy yeah. he's, he's looking so good i, I hope you guys scary. know i'm taking him in our draft <clears throat> that we have coming up. he's mine 